Hey y'all, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood, coming at you with a quick, did you know, uh, how to use, and I'm going to call it from here on out, Anchor Point. Lightburn doesn't even give it a name, they don't acknowledge it in any of the uh, help sections and any of the text, uh, uh, I, I want to say manual, but there's no manuals. I can't find any reference to this at all anywhere and it's crucial that you have it set right or else it's just going to aggravate the snot out of you. And then once you understand how to use it, you can use it in multiple ways to accomplish different things because there's not a one way that fits all, but there is a one way that fits best. So let's jump in here to Lightburn and take a look at anchor points. Okay, so we're in Lightburn, and what's aggravating, not aggravating, but if you, if you look at these tools on your toolpath up here, your, your menu, as you hover over, over them, it will give you a description of what it is and what it does. Pan, uh, zoom to page, zoom in, zoom out, uh, zoom to frame, but whenever you this one is only and, and it only does that if it's high no it doesn't it does it all the time so even when it's not available if you hover over it it gives you what that is align selected objects along their vertical centers it even gives you the hotkeys the shortcuts well if you hover over these this grid of circles right here it doesn't do anything right now and if we draw a circle let's draw a two inch circle make it two inches all right now that I've got a circle on here and I've got it selected it is no longer grayed out you can move these dots around but nothing's happening on the screen there is one small thing happening on the screen and I'll show you you don't see anything on your work table that's happening but what is changing is if you look over here your X, Y position right now with this set in the lower left corner, it's showing you it's 19.01 and this is 5.70. But if I come up here to the top left, watch what happens to your Y position. It just changed to 3.7. Go back to the bottom, it's 5.7. All right, so that is the anchor point of the image. It's the origin point of the image, okay? I like anchor point. Because I, the way I think of it is if that circle was a boat and I don't want this position to move, if I want this uh, lower left position of that circle to stay the same as I'm altering its dimensions, that's where I'm gonna drop anchor. Drop anchor right there. Well. 98% of the time you actually want to have it dropped in the middle because if you're doing intricate designs or, or multiple images and you've centered them all up and then you change one and your anchor points off and it jumps way up here out of the way now you got to recenter everything again well if you've got that in center changing your dimensions is not going to change its its centered location so a lot of words what did he just say well let's take a look at this I'm going to create a, uh, an array of that circle to, to uh, emulate, duplicate, simulate all those cates, uh, that same set of circles. Now let's select them all, group them all, send them down to the middle of the page, and go to the center of our page. All right, so now I've got that image simulating, in fact, let's put that uh, on a fill mode so we can see it real good that simulates this up here and you see it's grayed out when nothing's selected when you select it now you can choose your anchor point that's what it's known from here on out in the rest of everybody's world it's anchor point this anchor points in the very center and this total image is an 8 by 8 square 
So let's draw a square, put it on a different path so we can see it, and make it eight inches. And let's select our grid, center them up. There. Now you have a perimeter around those grids. And we now have that square selected and its anchor point is in the center of that square. So any changes we do to the dimensions of that square are going to happen from the center. So with our aspect ratio locked, we're going to make this no longer a eight inch square. We're going to make it a four inch square. Because our anchor was in the center, it drew everything to the center. Think of you throw the anchor overboard. Everything's just going, is being drawn to the anchor. And if you're anchored, that ain't moving. Everything else is moving around it. That's your anchor point, anchoring it to the middle because that's where you selected your anchor point. All right, let's put it back to an eight inch square. And now let's put our anchor point in the top left and now we're going to make it a four inch square well when we do it's not going to bring it to the center it just brought it to the up and to the left and how big are those circles two inch so let's undo that and let's do uh just say two inch boom right to that circle undo same thing if you now select that position and you tell it reduce your size to two inches. Now it's going to draw it down and over that one. Now I'm only using those circles and those sizes to show you can see what is happening exaggerated and you understand where it's being pulled to and from and why. And in your designs, there are going to be times that you don't want it to come to center. Uh, but now that you understand what this is and what it's doing, you'll understand how to use it better. And when you don't want things to draw to center, how you can make it go elsewhere. I worked with Lightburn for probably at least four months before I figured that out. And I figured it out uh, pretty much on my own because there's nothing in it on help. And I didn't see anything here on YouTube. So anybody, ch and, and people aren't going to search for it because it doesn't have a name in Lightburn. So if you're like, well, you've searched how to find center in Lightburn because that's a tool in Lightburn. You've, you've searched uh, shape properties in Lightburn because that's a a menu in the tools of Lightburn. This thing doesn't have a name at all. So there's nothing to search for. So for those of you who have been fortunate enough to be watching the channel by pure happenstance, because you weren't looking for this, because if you were, you wouldn't have found it because it, there's no way to search for it. Well, if we all start calling it anchor point from here on out and we get Lightburn involved, say, hey guys, you haven't tagged it. I don't care what you called it before. We're now calling it an anchor point, and that's what you need to call it from here on out. So uh, play with that. Uh, most likely, you're going to want to leave that in the center for your best results on most of your designs. Uh, but hopefully you found this helpful. This was short, sweet, and we're going to use this in an upcoming design and build, and that's why I wanted to touch on this now so I don't have to spend any time going over it in my build and in the video. So this has been short and sweet. This is Steve. I'm Hobo with Wood. This is Hobo with Wood for a fun channel. Jump over to the Laser Makers Realm. Uh, YouTube.com Laser Makers Realm. It'll be right there. I hope that's pointed at it right in there somewhere. So uh, check that out for free file downloads. It's a great new channel. It's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a, all the rage. It's going to be we're going to, we're going to own YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm now leaving you and I'll see you in the next video until then I'm out.